All right, hello and welcome to the Match Day Vlogs YouTube channel. As always, please remember to smash that like button and hit subscribe because it really does, it really does make a difference to the channel. We're here at St Mary Stadium for the final pre-season pre -season friendly against AZ Alkmaar from the Dutch League. Have I got that right? Yeah, from the Dutch League, you got it right. Mm -hmm. Got it right, first time. All the way from the Netherlands. All the way from Never Neverlands. Right, so the team sheets are in, and me and Jack have just been chatting about this. So we think this is probably the lineup that perhaps Russell Martin is thinking about going with for Friday night's yep. game against Sheffield Wednesday away at Hillsborough. So we've got Bazunu, Livramento, Shea Charles, Stevens, Manning, Smallbone, Warprouse, Warprouse, Alcarez, Alozi, Teller and Adam Armstrong. So I guess this is kind of a strange position that we're in is the fact that we've got we haven't really lost anyone yet. I mean, here we are less than a week away from the start of the championship campaign and we've effectively still got a full house. Well, obviously we're a little bit, be we're a bit uh, sorry, in front of the Premier League for like times when we have to buy stuff because we start a little bit earlier. But you're right, I think, I don't think any of us would have thought first game of the season, Lavia would still be here. Yeah. Whether he still is by Friday, who knows? But I mean, Prousey almost for me looks set to stay. I don't know about you, how you feel about it, but. Well, we were chatting about this. It, it, it's kind of a strange one because a lot of clubs are going to be valuing him at maybe 20 million but due to his contract and his value to Southampton he is worth 40 million whether or not he's worth 40 million to a Premier League club looking around at him but we did see a note of a Galatasaray bid which is a bit of a weird one um, but no we'll have, have to certainly see where they go is there anything you're particularly hoping for today I'm hoping for a clean sheet that's basically what I'm hoping for a clean sheet and uh, a sufficient amount of goals two yeah two that's what I want yeah I think a, a clean sheet would be great Great. Even just a good, a good. If their goal comes from just something you can't stop, that's fair play. But I don't just don't want to be see a mistake from the centre backs. I don't want to see Baz beaten by the near post. I want like a, a strong performance from them. But then what? It's the midfield as well. I think that that trio of Alcaraz, Smallbone, and Wolf Prowse really so excites, strong. It really excites me for the new season. That does. And yeah, I'm excited to see that. I'm a bit, I'm a bit of a shame that Shea Charles still has to start at centre back. But I think that's just purely because he can play out better than Lianco. So yeah. that's what that is. I'm just excited to see Shea Charles yeah, play. Yeah. I think he's going to be an absolute star of the future and hopefully many seasons of that at St Mary Stadium. That is pretty loud, that. Yeah, they've, they've, cranked, they've cranked up. They've got new screens, but not new speakers. But I think they've had a decibel booster on the speaker system. There we go. Um, also, a quick shout-out. We, we are actually filming our live preview tomorrow night. Um, there might be a few extra seats available or extra tickets available for that so if that's of any interest to you uh, I'm going to stick in the contact details right down here so if you fancy joining us for a live preview tomorrow night I'm just thinking when we're recording this tomorrow night uh, then uh, drop us a message on that email address and we'll see what we can do about that have you seen his number number 8 for AZ I haven't oh look at that shorty classy number 8 it's the classy testimonial <laughs> that is exactly it is the classy testimonial glad to have you back brother it was we, we barely knew the absolutely that right anyway enough of that we shall see you at half time all right kick off coming up Taking no <laughs> so I need to let Jack Stevens know that it is a friendly. See so a yellow card is a friendly? No yellow, don't give him it. Don't give literally it. kick out. Don't give him it. Still nil-nil. Um, we've been able to keep the ball a lot more than we did on Tuesday night. Yeah. 
perhaps a few extra chances on goal. But uh, all in all, there's been a couple of occasions where it's not really been a friendly at all. It's been two yellow cards. <laughs> no, I think mean, that's a good thing because it lets you know that they're playing it not. In pro Every other game you think maybe you're playing at 60, 70, 80 percent. Right. Today that it gives you at least the 90s and 95s. It's a good preparation for next week. But I think you're right. I think we've looked really good. I think the back four have been really good. I think Stevens has been a yeah, real, yeah. real headstrong. Yeah. Charles is really strong. They look great, and it looks a lot more clinical than it did first half against Bournemouth. Yeah, I forgot now. Quick Teller is. Teller is insane. He's quick. rapid. He's insane right in front quick. of us down here on the right. But uh... and I think Adoji's been good on, on the other wing as well. He's, he's, he's done that thing where he's worked really hard along the byline, and then it's just maybe a touch too far. Yeah. You know, that's what that's what happens with those sort of players. But yeah, a few more chances created. I can see this being a really good team. You know, does this, this, this make you excited? For it does. It does. I mean, I'm, I'm looking out there, and there's perhaps maybe one or two positions. Stop it! Stop it! Look at that. Wow. There might be one or two that might not be featuring. Heaven forbid. Don't want to say those kind of things out loud. But even with those omissions, it's still looking a tidy side. They really, really are. But even looking at looking at Teller down here, I mean, he's exactly the sort of player that Russell Martin yeah. wants on this right-hand side. And the nice thing is, is that certain if certain players do leave. Let's say, like say, you know, Prowse leaves. I think I think Smallbone looks great in that role. Mm. And then you can use put, put Charles slightly higher forward. I mean, they, they, there's good workarounds for everything, but I think this team looks fantastic. Yeah. A few more games are about good to get this system in them. A bit more confident up top. I think this, I'm, I'm looking forward to this season, I'll tell you that for free. Yeah. Thank you for not charging me for that opinion. <laughs> next one. The next one. Next one won't be so. I'm charging for tomorrow, you know yep. that, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it's half time. Final few minutes of the game here. Southampton nil, AZ Alkmaar one. Um, it's probably been the dullest of three pre-seasons we, we've been to. Um, it, it has looked a bit more controlled at the back, but maybe we've lost a bit of our danger up front. We haven't looked to have as many opportunities, but I, th I think there's still some positives from this. Yeah, I think you like said the defence looks a lot better. The um, the passing lanes look, look really really good. It's just we're missing that that little spice up front in the final third that like we seem to have the past few seasons anyway. That's why you're kind of hoping that maybe we will get somebody new because you just need something up front that's different than what we've got. I see a lot of really good pass, like little good runs from the forwards, but not being caught by the midfield. Bianco raising his hands. Yeah, go! Yeah, go! It's been a very spot. 
He loves to add a bit of spice, doesn't he, Lange? Yeah, indeed, indeed. But, uh, you know, a few positives as well. I'd say uh, Nathan Teller's looked very, very good. Ryan Manning's had a good game. Uh, Shea Charles, again, has looked very, very good. Given that he's uh, been able to play that opposition again, but I think he just passes yeah. the ball out very, very well. It's just that last little bit of lightning. Here's the thing. I think Teller made good runs. I think Adam Armstrong's been making good runs. I think there's a few tight t- finishes. And when Alcaraz had the ball in the box, like, yeah. 10 yards out, and he just couldn't get out from underneath his feet. A few of those today if we can just get that sort of we can just get a goal scorer mate just get a goal scorer we will be laughing because this squad's got everything else I mean it's AZ side are a very physical side they're a European semi-finalist last season going out to West Ham and Europe uh, Conference League semi-final so they are a very physical side they're no mugs that's for sure so perhaps maybe the sternest test that we've had of the three pre-seasons as well. So I don't think we should be too hard on ourselves, you know, bowing out 1-0 to this European side. But it would have been nice to see a goal. It would have been nice to see a goal. I think, you know, like we said, it's it's harsh not to see a score a goal today, but have we really great at the chances for it? Not really. A couple of good pot shots and bits and bobs, but nothing really clear-cut, you know. I think... We're, but the first few goals of the season might be set pieces. <laughs> yeah. It's going to frustrate people with this, this style of football this season, but I do see us dominating this ball a lot. It's just, can we get something out of the domination? Frustrating, but keeping possession. I don't necessarily mind that. Yeah. And there it is. Send it. 700 nil. AZ1. As always, remember, like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. All right, see ya.